find a way to work the deal out if you want to be here. Right. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, at some point, the responsibility is clearly on both parties. And as I said, if the Leafs are, are offering him garbage, then I don't blame him for being like, I'm not taking that or right. call me back in a month when you smarten up because it's not going to happen. If it's a disrespectful, in your eyes, contract totally. offer, then you... I get it. But, but let's say the Leafs are offering him $10 million a year at seven or eight years. That's an that's a very respectful offer. Ask Sebastian Ajo. Ask Timo Meyer. Now, I know different players. Right. Timo Meyer like, got four years at six. He's a 30-goal scorer and a yeah. good, good player, good winger. Right. Like, if, if they're offering that kind of change with some term and maybe they can get flexible, uh, flexible with the term, at some point, you know, you got to think the Marner camp, and Mitch in particular, is going to say, why am I why am I handicapping my own team? Right, yeah. splitting hairs here. And what are we doing here? I, I think they will, but it, a lot of times in negotiation, it's ego. And you're saying, I'm as good as that player, and that player makes player makes I get as it. much. And... and You've said this all along, and Bob said it on our show last week. If Ranton and size for, signs for 5.5, Marner will go, doesn't matter. I don't care. It's not on my team. Yeah. My comparable is Matthews, and yeah. my comparable is Tavares. My comparable is how valuable I am to my organization. We can have a million comparables because Pasternak makes 6.7. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he, he's as good as Marner. Yep. Like, there's a lot of great comparables you can use throughout the league. Mitch Marner has this right. I'm not crapping on him. He has this right to take a look as an RFA. He has the right to entertain offer sheets if they ever came or whatever. But he also has to figure out what his bottom line is, what he will put a jersey on for next year. Right. What are you willing to accept? And what will make you feel, okay, They've because again, maybe it's got to be the Matthews deal. And that's the only way he's going to feel vindicated and respected and and feel like the Leafs have proven to him we love you as a player right which again is crazy considering the guy's been here for three years right playing the league for three years we all love Mitch Marner but it's not like you've won three cups and you know you're the captain of the team and like that's not who he is that's not his resume um but that's where I think it's it's difficult for a lot of people myself included to understand let's say it is a Six or seven year deal at nine and a half or ten million. That's a right. that's an incredible yeah. contract. It is that that puts you in the top two or three percent in the league in terms of being paid. Right, and you've been in the league for three years. That's not the Leafs, you know, spitting on you. And, and look at that's some a of great the, contract. Look at some of the guys that signed deals. I mean, I think William Carlson is the perfect example. He just wanted eight years. And yeah. he just wanted something comfortable to be happy with. Let's go. Right. Five, you know, nine it's five and nine, and you know he's playing on a good team. He's living in Las Vegas. That's like sometimes as a player, I get it. You want to be compared to guys in your team, but if you're a million dollars off, like is it that much? Like is it going to hurt you that when much? When you're going to re up in okay. five or six years again in your mid twenties? Let's play this exercise. All of these signings that we've seen so far in the last, let's say, couple weeks, Carlson. Timo Meyer, uh, who were we just talking about? Well, Aho, 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 which was an offer sheet. I mean, it's that an complicates sheet, but things. Still, but yeah. it, it, it's it's a hard number. Yeah. yeah. Duchesne. Duchesne. It, like, or any of them, we haven't, I mean, other than Kevin Hayes, which was quite rich for In that Philly, player. Yep. Is, are, are we going like, man, that's crazy money. If no, anything, Aaron. it seems like discounted, like, hey, I want to stay, yeah. I want to do this, I want to... We haven't seen that yet with the Leafs. Yet. Yeah, no, yet. we have not. Austin that- didn't, William didn't, and by all accounts, Mitch isn't. Mm-mm. Now, Janssen and Kapanen, those are good value contracts. Yeah, I yeah. think those are, are reasonable, right, good exactly, contracts. Right, exactly, kind of where you would expect it. So I think those are fair and they were good deals. But Now, I know Mitch is in a different category, than Kapanen and Janssen. But, you know, at some point, like you say, what what is the difference after escrow and taxes between 10 million and 11? It's a couple well, hundred grand per yeah. year, and it adds up. If you go times five, it's two and a half million dollars or whatever, but you can probably make it up somewhere else. I think it's more about the actual, like, I'm as good as that player, I want that. That's, that's I it. think, exactly what's happening here between Marner and the Leafs and Austin Matthews and his contract. But this right. is the, this is the position that Kyle Dubas has put himself in. 
right. and has to accept and finds himself in. Because if Ajo signs at 8-5 and Myers signs at 6, six. and you know, all of a sudden Kachuk takes an 8-year deal at 8.5 or 9, right? and then it's like, Marner, you have to give him 5 years at 11-6? Yeah. How the hell can you explain that? Yeah. Yeah. You can't. And I, you, you, you said You can't it. explain it. There's probably guys in the restricted free agent pool that are pissed off at Ajo probably for signing that. Right. Because everyone, ever, everyone was expecting Marner to be the first domino to fall and everybody fall underneath him. Right. Well, did Ajo just set the market? Because 83 points last year, 30 yeah. goals, 21-year-old yeah. centerman. Right. I mean... Like, but, Marner's going to ask for more and I think deserves a little bit more, but not $3 million a year no, more. No. Not even... No way. And that's... that's now, or ranting for that matter. But all you heard... In. Yeah. All you heard... Was that out of out of Aho's camp? Was that he wants to get something done? Well, probably in his eyes, the best way to get this done is I've got an offer sheet that doesn't cripple my team. It may financially, in a calendar year, be a little bit uncomfortable for the owner because yeah. he's got to write twenty one million dollars, but he's still getting paid a certain certain amount, and the cap hits eight four five. Yeah. Let's say eight five. Let's just eight, round five. up at eight five. Eight and a half million. I think Aho is a ten million dollar player. Yeah, they got a steal. But the, here's here's what may be coming in to focus here. Term. No. Okay. He's not a ten million dollar player. He's an eight point five million dollar player. Right. But we've been talking so much about these guys and acting as if they're Gretzky and Lemieux and Bossy and Orr. Right. That everyone's like, oh, that's not. He's not getting twelve million. Right. Right. What happened there? Like we've been pumping this RFA step ladder. Yeah. And and now the now it's coming into focus and it's like, no, Timo Meyer, you're not getting eight yeah. years at eight and a half. You're getting yeah. four years at six. Yeah. And and Aho, sorry, man, you get five years at eight five. And that was the Habs. It wasn't even Carolina. Yeah. Right. The Habs could have got up to ten and a half or eleven. They said no. This is the value, and he's accepted it. So this is what we're giving him. Yeah. So yeah, and for all, he's like that's he, the marketplace. So for all, you said he was coming in at just over nine. The team was willing to offer seven and a half. Within a week, he's going to have his contract. They right. Started, they you know what? Right in the middle. Okay, I'm happy. It's, within a week, I've got a contract signed either with Montreal or Carolina. Summer's done. And we have been talking about this so much. That it's become fact when it's always just been projection yeah. and right. conjecture. It's always right. been. It's, we didn't know we, what they were actually going to get. We've ingrained it into our head. Like if Braden Point signs tomorrow for six years at, at seven, eight, eight, seven, okay. five or yeah. something, we'd yeah. be like, what the hell was yeah, that? Good luck, right. Mitch Marner now. Exactly. You know? it, it is, and I think there's a lot of people out there, but we, we didn't know. Now, maybe Austin Matthews' deal kind of jammed people up. In, in essence, as far as your your setting thought process, market. setting the market. Now, Austin's a five-year deal. is a fantastic player, five-on-five five goals and all that. He that should, should be, be the, the top. Ceiling. He should that is be the, the But that's the top. Then yeah. it should go down after that. Exactly. But how far down? Mm -hmm. And But, you know, as Leon Dreisaitl, is Austin Matthews $3 million better than Leon Dreisaitl? No. No, so Edmonton actually got value for a contract. Yeah, that deal looks spectacular. The, the Connor McDavid, McDavid at 12 and a half. Are spectacular contracts right. in retrospect. Like as, as much as a drag bunt, Trelli Everything else up, is a mess. <laughs> Everything else those is a mess. Those two are fantastic contracts for those players. Right, yeah. for fantastic. seven more years. Exactly. So you come back to it, it's what the organization and what your value is to them. Right now, Mark Bergevin said... I want Ajo. I want him really bad. That's the price point I'm willing to pay. Eight right. and a half. And he accepted that. Yeah. It, exactly, because Ajo realized that's what I'm getting. Right. That's what I'm worth. Well, and, and he also saw dollar signs and said, I can get $21 million in my pocket the next calendar year. Yeah, that doesn't hurt. But so can Mitch Marner with the signing bonuses. Absolutely. You know they're going to load that up. You know, I think Winnipeg... I think they'd be willing to do that as well. Well, yeah. I mean, the ownership in Winnipeg is one the of the richest, the richest <laughs> Canadian. He's the richest guy in the country. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know. They if work you, under an internal, I believe. Right. But, you know, yeah. I think Calgary would be willing to do that for Kachuk. I think Point in, you know, Tampa, they've always spent their money. They'd be willing yeah. to do that for him. So well, you don't think Calgary's happy with this Ajo deal? Yeah. They like, should they're be. probably saying, hey, Matthew, like, we understand you're a good player, but this guy just set the market, man. Right. 
I think the Timo Meyer deal, again, has been lost in the shuffle because yeah. a lot of people in the East don't know who he is. He's a fantastic player. Really good player. 30 Four goals years. again. Yeah. Four and years at $6 million per. Yeah. yeah. And that's an unbelievable now the, number. the structure of that one was a little bit weird to where he has to be qualified at $10 million. Fourth right. year. For the, for the year. $10 million. They basically so, said, we're going to pay you down the road. Right. Well, you know, we'll, we're going to step ladder that one up. But, but still, four years at $6 six. Million, you're not getting around that. Exactly. And he could have held out longer. He could have said, "I'm no, call me on August 15th. He didn't. just very comfortable in their setting. Yeah. But that's it. And, like, why, why are none of the Leafs comfortable <laughs> in their setting? <laughs> that's, that's what it continues part. to come back to. And William you, Nylander waited until five minutes before the deadline yeah. <laughs> to find a comfort zone. Yeah. Mitch Marner, who knows what's going on with him. Well, now, uh, Matthews, there was a comfort zone because they just said, tell us whatever the hell it's going to take. There was go. no negotiation. They just gave him five years at 11-6. Yeah. But, that was the, the negotiation was the term, probably. Yeah. And it was Austin going, I want five, not eight. Well, yeah. my understanding is he would have taken eight, but it would have cost them 13 a year or yeah. 13. Pl- like, Plus. he was fine with eight, but he's like, I'm not taking 11.6. And yeah. they said, with the cap being what it is. Yeah, it's a percentage. Yeah. yeah. And me and you talked about this on the lunch. There's got to be a point here in the next month where if nothing gets done, Dubas has to start playing hardball. Or it, start it, calling around. It, it's like... He cannot drag this along like he did with Nylander. Well, if not, you're starting the season with this blue line, and the Maple Leafs are in trouble. Yeah, that's not a good enough blue line, clearly. Yeah, there has to be some improvement still. Or they've got internal options that we're not quite aware of that they are really, really confident yeah, in. Right. But, um, yeah, something's got to give here. I mean, day one of the offer sheets, we saw one of them. It wasn't Mitch Marner. Mm-hmm.